start my morning off. So we are here at the second Van Life Pride gathering and I have so much joy in my heart. So for some of you that have been following Abby and I's journey for quite some time, you are aware that we started Van Life Pride on Instagram about three and a half years ago to create a safe space for the queer community that are on the road. And last year we had our first gathering and it was, it, it exceeded our expectations beyond. And we have just been watching it grow exponentially. And it's many years since then. So here we are again, and since Abby's in Mexico, I am here supporting Kristen of Where the Road Forks, who's actually taken over the account for us and has sent it into this beautiful direction, along with Heather of Traveling Wild Butch, who is hosting this event. Um, I'm very grateful for both of you. And yeah, I just want to take you along for the weekend to give you that experience of what this is like when a bunch of people come together that feel safe and feel like they can fully be themselves and be proud. And whew, don't let me get emotional yet. All right. <laughs> oh my god, did you get stuck trying to get out of the bed? Y'all don't even know. Oh, the whole universe in that heart. First things first, I gotta build a famous fire pit. This year it's in the shape of a heart. And yeah, I'm trying to make it big enough so that everyone can enjoy it. You know, we got like 130 drinks coming in, so let's do it. I felt a strong responsibility to the community, you know, it, that it was fitting. And in that pinnacle moment, Kristen reached out to take over, you know, she asked to take over the page and it was like, it was a godsend. It was like, yes, I, this is what I've been waiting for because we didn't want to sit. And ever since you've taken it over, the master program and you, yeah, I've seen events happening all across the country. And I am so grateful for that because that was the initial plan. It was never about us. We were a catalyst to start this page and this community, and we always wanted to be about the community and, and run by the community. So that is, uh, you know, that's that's the ultimate gift to us is having you do that. So I appreciate that. And Heather, who was hosting this event, <laughs> Heather reached out at the, around the same time to host the event. It, it just it needs everything. Um, and I didn't honestly know why I would be you know, it was on a Sunday very inward journey and a lot of the the process. Um, but I, I need I felt very called to be here. Okay, here I go. Um, yeah, but anyway, so thank you for listening to that. And uh, you know, I, I don't expect everyone to understand opening a marriage or polyamory. Um, but you know if you can unravel yourselves completely, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> ah, if you can do that, you know, you become a revolution. You really do. Get to know who you are at your core. So there it is. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kristen. Um, as Matt mentioned, so maybe back in November, I took over running Van Life Pride. So to share my dream, I would love to eventually get this to a nonprofit registered that way and to have a board that truly like runs and oversees this. This is, that's my vision. Um, maybe you've noticed on the Instagram account, we now have an ambassador program and I am so touched by the ambassadors. And really quick, if you can stand up or wave if you're an ambassador here, cause we have quite a few. Van Life Pride community goes further than this event. And so I, I dream of having each month in every single state of Van Life Pride event. And um, so if you are interested in becoming an ambassador, see one of the other ambassadors and they can talk to you and answer some questions about it. That's like my big dream here is to really just grow the community and have more intentional community. 
supporting this and me, it means the world and having that support and Abby's support has just meant so much to me. Just to kind of reiterate what Nat was saying about this being a safe space, if for any reason you do not feel safe, uh, please come and talk to us so that we can help resolve any issues that do come up. Um, we just ask that everybody honor each other and um, and just treat each other with respect. And I think we're all going to be here for a great, right? Oh my God. Okay. I have to remember every day to come in the van and take breaks and to feed myself. And it's so hard because you just want to be outside. There are so many people gathered and so much connection happening, so many events at every different little area. And it's, it's so beautiful. And you get stopped, obviously, talking to this person, then you're talking to this person, you're in someone else's rig. And yeah, I just forget to eat lunch. And I'm finally giving myself like that hour where I can just, oof, you know, replenish my energy but this weekend so far has been incredible the community comes together like it's flawless it's so organic and everyone truly is feeling safe and and comfort and really making new friends and you know learning all the things so many workshops and so many things still being added so many people still showing up my heart is exploding um i'm so i mean the gratitude just is every day comes back so so fiercely uh yeah. <laughs> Good morning. So it's Sunday at Pride and we had a little bit of rain last night, but I still, I still heard music like for several hours and people were not letting that stop them. Um, having little group DJ sessions at all the vans. So, oh, that was lovely. So the rain did not deter Saturday. However, with the wind, we moved the potluck to today. So I got to get started on cooking because of course, you know, I got to go over the top. And since it's at lunchtime, we're having it at noon. So I got a lot of work to do. So let's have a golden milk tea and then get cooking. Oh man. So I just got a knock on the door. I'm sitting here having my golden tea and uh, I was brought breakfast. Sandy, thank you so much. Uh, this community is, it, my heart is exploding constantly. Um, that's amazing, which is perfect because I'm cooking quite a bit for the potluck today. And I, you know me, I probably won't have a lot of time to feed myself because I forget to do that. So Sandy, thank you so much. I appreciate it. <laughs> Who even boils cheap potlays at 8 a.m.? Only me, nobody else. Boils cheap potlays at 8 a.m. All right, only five dishes. Potluck's starting, so let's get the food out. So it's Sunday, it's beautiful out, and we are having the potluck. And, oh, there's so much food. Everyone's pretty much contributed. And you know I had to put some Leo energy out and have my own table, but just gotta promote that cookbook. <laughs> Loving. Joyful. Compassion. Conversation. Fulfilling. Openness. Connected. Inspiring. Oh, 
need to clean my window. Alright, well Abby won't be using that clip. These videos are made possible through the support of our patrons. Join the Ride and Seek crew on Patreon today. Thank you, crew!